Good afternoon, YouTube. Just wanted to do a quick video and sum up of this Jakku off the rack sword that I got. This sword is a T10 clay tempered cosmetic polished katana. It features a beautifully deep blood groove with a longer kasaki, a small, it's, it's a little bit of an O kasaki. It has a slight blemish right here. The Hamon ran off a little bit, so I got this at a very discounted rate. I got this for $99, and for that price, it is a absolute steal. Uh, it's a fantastic sword. Uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, performing moves is very, very easy with it. It comes with a standard kind of etched brass hibaki and seppa, as well as a more aged kind of patina look for the iron, which I really, really like. It feels closer to an antique. It isn't an antique, but it, it feels aged in a good way. Um, the Ito on this is unbelievably tight. It is exceptionally tight. Jakku has the best budget Ito I have encountered, and I'm always really impressed when I work with this sword. I love this sword because it's unique. It has a 10 inch suka with a 30 inch blade, which feels very, very cool. Uh, there's more reach behind your move sets. There's more reach behind cuts. There's more to work with, with a sword like this. And it feels unique because most of the time, if you buy something as a standard size, it's gonna come in at 27 inches from the blade uh, to the tip. So this sword feels amazing and it was exceptionally cheap. Um, the Hamon has such a unique uh, vibrancy to it. It's wild pattern. It's just something you don't see every day. I'm a huge fan of it because it felt like I got something rare. It felt like I got, you know, rare item. So to me, this sword really has character. It has heart to it. And there's an energy when you use it. There's a transfer from the handle to the blade. Um, and that's kind of what I tend to look for when I'm getting a sword. If, if I don't feel a connection to the blade, I, I tend to give them back to somebody else or gift them or sell them because if they, if I don't feel like using them, to me, they, they're not really you being used for their purpose. Now, this sword also is interesting because it came with a saya that was fitted to the blade. So it's longer than a standard long long chong saya. It came with a very unique um, segeo. I really like the color. It matches quite well with the black on white here. And also it fits perfectly inside the saya, which is pretty hard to do. A lot of times they when they make longer blades, there's a saya rattle or there's not as tight or too tight of a fit here, especially at this price point for $100. It was unreal. And it, I've been able to do a lot of new moves with it. It's comfortable. It's also very, very sharp and can cut through a lot. So it's a amazing, amazing product.